There have been many reports from Bigfooters who say when they walk up on the Palmetto lines, they do hear something scurry and move. They even see them move through the Palmetto. Many of these bushes that grow five to six feet with the animal they've seen definitely towering above it. Now keep in mind, this evidence is only anecdotal. There have been some questionable videos of this type of stuff brought forward. Okay, one of the things that you do when you want to take a more tactical approach is the, the use of technology, the use of equipment. It exists today. It has to be used in the right way. What I'm going to do today is I'm deploying a sound recorder and um, an additional mic or additional camera. We're going to set them up at what you would call probably the the 10 o'clock and the 2 o'clock position. One's going to record sound and one's going to hopefully get some kind of video on it. And uh, it could take a while. It's a patient man's game, that's for sure. And looking for an area to deposit something, there's an area... There's an area in the distance where I heard birds, heard the hawk, hawk going crazy. There's a belief among Bigfooters that there, that there is an association between birds and the Bigfoot. And we don't know what that is, but it tends to be around these structures that you see. And this one is fairly interesting that I can see here. Three major lanes all in the same direction there, there, there. Let me see if I can light them a little bit on that. It's going to be hard to see. I'm using a cell phone right here. See another one there. There's another one, obvious one. Another one there. Looks like another one. I just heard a knock. I've always been a fan of perimeter lines, whether they be in the forest or be on the palmettos. I've had my best results with them. It's just a tactic that works for me. After all, this is tactical Bigfoot. There are those that would look at this area and say that it looks rather benign. But it's not. It's a testament to how the topography in Florida changes, it changes on a dime. There have been 18 different identified environments. We are literally about 800 yards from where I filmed one of the largest alligators. That's right, one of the largest alligators I've ever filmed in a creek about 800 yards from here. So there's nothing, there's nothing benign or banal about this area. You trust me on that. This is a watershed. Most of this area in here, there's about 10,000 acres and it's flooded. It's a watershed area for two, for two counties. And it has all the resources necessary, all of them, including the ability to hide. This is an awesome area. Okay, basically, I'm going to place this camera quality zoom in a way that same right across the palmetto line. If anything moves near the perimeter or comes in and out of there, we're gonna have it.
10 o'clock position is leading me to a wide expanse of grass and a field and sand. This is a sound recorder. I'm going to turn it on and get away. Let's see what we get. It's recording. This is Tim. Um, God, who knows? I'll just put it right here. And mark the spot. Just lay it there. They say you should hang it from a tree. This could be interesting. Problem is through this watershed, there's the power line that I ran into. And I can hear the electricity in it. Now that brings me to something I like to ask everyone. Do the Bigfoot follow the power lines? Are they somehow attracted to the electricity? I've heard the banging that they use on the power lines. They hit them, they don't hit the trees. They hit the metal itself. It's what you have up here, high tension wires. It's send that message for miles. And they know it. That's my thought. I don't have any proof of it, only what I've recorded. Now someone said they debunked it because they said a hunter could have fired a bullet and hit it. Yeah, yeah, a hunter could have. People do sick things, so I don't know. I just know what I heard and what I recorded. I'm gonna put it up anyway. We'll leave it up for a while. Okay, folks, you know how I feel about these things. I saw something in the video, and I freeze-framed and used a contrast filter to bring out the darker objects. It does appear as if something is standing there. Let me know what you think. I'm just not sure. Let's 
Time to pick up the equipment. Uh, I have a new theme now. It's called the Whispering Woods. The woods will whisper to you. If you will only listen, the woods will tell you everything. Everything you need to know.